I'm here with Sam Perry. Thanks for coming in today, Sam. Hey, no worries. Thanks for having me. And so, Sam, you beatbox? I do. I beatbox uh, with a loop station and a guitar effects pedal and a microphone. And I just make loads of different noises and put them all together and, and make entire songs with my voice. And where do you do it? Um, just all around town really. Um, just got a few gigs coming up. We've got um, Sydney coming up um, in August and then we've got Rotto Fest. That'll be fun. Yeah, be great. And you're playing at Parklife? Parklife after it, and then maybe some UK dates that we're not so sure about. But um, yeah. This Parklife going to be one of the biggest festivals you've Yeah, I can't later. wait. It's yeah. like sub boxes the size of me, which will be great. Love a bit of bass, but yeah. Everybody stretch! Your own record store. We do. We've got uh, Fat Shan Records um, on Barrack Street. Um, and we've got a sort of a hidden studio behind a um, behind like a wardrobe, which is pretty cool. You open a behind secret, a wardrobe. Yeah, you open a secret door, <laughs> and then yeah, there's a recording studio. It's getting a lot of interest at the moment. We've got a few of Perth's biggest artists coming in at the moment. So it's really good. It's going great. <laughs> What do you do when you're not playing music? Uh, nothing. Nothing. Just music. Uh, mowed the lawn today. It's about <laughs> it. Yeah. Um, risk my life with one of those electric lawn mowers. Um, no, nah, just um, yeah. I'm, I'm getting a lot into producing and um, and sort of helping bands and and there's a lot of work going into Fat Chain Records at the moment. It's um, we've got a local section where where artists we don't charge commissions. So if their CD is ten dollars, they get every dollar we don't we don't because I tried to sell my CD locally Brilliant. and they tried to take too much and we don't understand why like they can make the money off the big boys not the you know, the people the that are trying. so we're trying to like really and especially when up. WA when there's not there's not that many people here exactly it was, we're a small city so um yeah we're really trying to give back to the community and, and the government stepping in to help us out and then yeah we're doing really well and and thank you for everyone that's been coming down and helping us out and checking us out well, brilliant thank you so much for coming in and having a quick hey, chat no with us thanks for having me and um Everyone, make sure you get down to Park Life and watch Ooh. Sam Perry in action. Yeah. With the kid genius, Sam Perry, that's what's up. Yeah. One, two, one, two.
Hi, I'm Sam Perry, Turn It Up WA. This week, Liam interviewed Greg Packer, so let's see what he had to say. Thanks, guys. I'm sitting on the couch tonight with Greg Packer. How you going, Greg? Good, thanks. So, Greg, you've been uh, drum and bass DJing around in Perth now for like 20 plus years, eh? Hey? Yes, two decades and, and then some. All these years, 20, 20 odd years later, people still come up to me and go, I got into like drum and bass or, or I got into dance music from listening to your mixtapes like in the 90s. <laughs> so many people say that to me now. But at the time when, you, when you're doing it, you don't realise that you're, you're influencing so many people, but you, you actually are. You know? Okay, well on that note, how is drum and bass now? Drum and bass is massive. Um, in Perth? In Perth, it's, it's really big in Perth, yeah. Um, <laughs> Whether that's a good thing or not, I don't know because you've got all these little crews, you've got the people that were there from the beginning, especially like the promoters and they're all kind of, Perth is, is very known for its politics. So like you've got people like Shock One and Fetster and they don't get booked at festivals and things yeah. like that. It's ridiculous, yeah. you know, it is. And those guys are like superstars, yeah. you know. <laughs> it, it is a bit ridiculous, you know, but I mean, it's, and then you've got these little clubs that, that they only book their friends and they don't, you know, they don't sort of, the bigger DJs, the more well-known ones don't get a look in and, you know. Oh man, I'm, I'm really happy to hear that you, um, you're still so true to drum and bass. I mean, I know people that, that, have, that have given up and oh, I hate it now and this and it's too political and this and At the end of the day, I love the music. Like, regardless of, you know, I'm never going to get bored of it, you know. <laughs> well, best of luck, man. It's a yeah, pleasure thank talking you. to you. Thanks yeah, very much for sitting down with us. Always a pleasure. All right, and um, we'll catch you out on the floor yes. later on. No worries. Cheers, Greg. Thank you. Back to you. Show, Liam catches the killer tunes live and I meet with Rochelle O'Reilly and Mish Sweet. But right now I'll leave you with Brash and Sassy's No Milk For You. Thanks for watching and turn it up WA!
coffee at the end I'm afraid 